the 13th. Okay, mm-hmm. I got on video chat that Saturday the 14th. Uh oh. And so. Okay, there you go. And so Friday, I had texted his accountant person, which I didn't know it was his girlfriend. Right. I texted her and was like, hey. I said, um, hey, what about those, that load I did two days ago? Um, you haven't paid it out yet. She was like, oh, I just got it back. Uh, the money just came back in. I'll be sending you the money now. Okay. I said, okay, thanks. So then she sent me the pay statement in my email finally, right as we had that conversation. So I go and look at my email and look at the pay statement. I'm like, what is this fee? It was a lease. It was a lease. Um, it said lease uh, equipment fee. Oh. And I said, what equipment am I leasing from you? <laughs> in my head. That's what I said. What equipment am I leasing from you? Right. So then... I text her and I said, what is the lease equipment fee? You know, because I want to know what their definition of a lease is. She was like, that's the fee you pay up. I said, well, what do you, so I called because I'm like, at this point, we need conversation. We need clarity. So I'm like, hey, well, what do you mean that I pay you? What do you say? The fee that you pay up. So at this point, she's getting the attitude, but I'm not paying no attention to it because I'm like, I'm not going to let you mess up my day. So right. I'm like, what do you mean the fee that I, I'm like, oh, the 10% that I pay you. I said, well, that's not a lease, pro, uh, a lease fee for no equipment or nothing like that. That's just standard payment. I said, well, okay, everybody makes their statement different. All right, thank you. So she said, uh, uh, okay, yeah, no problem, and hung up in my face. I didn't think nothing of it. Now I'm on the phone with a lady that I um, work with. She let me use the trailer that I'm using. So I'm on the phone with her. Mm-hmm. her and I'm telling her what happened. And, you know, she like, girl, I don't know. So we're just talking now at this point about my dog. So um, which is the guy that owns the company, calls her. She's like, well, let me call you back. wonder why he's calling me. I said, I don't know. So I hung up the phone. Next thing I know, I sent her a message out of nowhere like, hey, whatever it is, I don't know, but it don't seem right. Don't even let it bother you. So she calls me a little bit later and was like, girl, I just had it out with him over the phone. Okay. Like, I'm like, what do you mean? She was like, he was saying that you got an attitude with her. So then he clicked in on the phone with the girlfriend and she immediately got on the phone and had an attitude with me. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. Exactly. (laughs) Wait, hold on. He he called, wait, (laughs) instead of him calling you. He called, he called her. He called the lady (laughs) that you, that, that, you know that's that's associating with you, right? Yeah, yeah. He calls her to talk about you. Yeah. So yeah. why did why why did brother man just didn't call you to talk about? I don't you? know. That's the point. That's how it's been since I started. It's like he's been inconsistent. Even his brother, like his brother, don't have a clue as to how to dispatch, but he wants me to pay him four percent to dispatch me. I'm like, dude, he couldn't even answer a simple question when the broker made a mistake on the load as to getting contact, getting in contact with the broker. He's talking about, well, what do you want me to do? Okay. I'm like, I want you to do your job. Right. So this, so, so the dude calls your associate, your yeah. and, and and brings his girlfriend slash accountant. Accountant. To talk to, to <laughs> on talk the phone. To her, on the phone to talk to her yes. about you. Yes. And that's how it's been. And then so he wonder why I don't contact them because he, he won't really and this is from day one. From day one. Okay. okay. And then he'll tell so, me So he So did did he call you to let you go or he called her he to, tell, to tell well, her no, he to tell her. you. 
when they got into it, when they got into it, that's when he told her, I'm just going to let her go. So then she told me, just deliver the load and then just go home. But when some kind of way, he texts my phone and he says, I'm letting you go. Don't deliver no load or nothing else under this truck and blah, blah, blah. I don't care. Wow. If you're picking up, don't grab it. I'm like, what? Wow. By this time, I'm at the dock. I'm delivering so, at Walmart, D.C. Wait, wait. <laughs> where where were you? Where? Auburn, Indiana, delivering at the Walmart, D.C. at this time. Oh, okay, so you so you in your home state. So you're. Yes. <laughs> Right, I wasn't too far. You, from you home in your home, you, back. you in your home state. So, so you, you wasn't like, like too far, from too home. far from home. Okay, that's that's awesome. Yeah. Okay, because if you was too far from home, and bro told you, you know, not to deliver shit, I'm going to deliver that home and take my ass home. You're going to pay me for this. So, oh, I delivered it, but he said that he wasn't gonna pay me for it. Okay, now, so now we got now said, now we well, got an issue. Where, 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 oh where, yeah, we had an issue. Oh, we had an issue. Where where we so, at on the where this, where we at on the money? So, on the money for that load. Yeah, that well, load where was, we, no, let's let's do it like this. Where we at on your money? Period. After he let you go. Oh, after he let me go, yeah, uh, he didn't pay me. He didn't pay me. He didn't pay you. So he still he owe you. Me. Yeah, he still owe me. Okay, now my next question is: I don't know if you did it already, but my next question is: uh, what what you got in the process of getting that? Do you do you know how much? Do you know how much he owes you? That load that I last did was twenty five hundred for five hundred miles, uh, coming from PA to Auburn, Indiana. Mm -hmm. um, minus his little ten percent, he was supposed to pay me, I guess, what, two thousand? Wow! Or so. Uh, wow! So he didn't pay. And uh, neither did he get paid, nor did the broker, because I didn't send the BOLs in. I said, now one of us going to get paid today. That's what's um, up. So, so um, they've been calling me and all of that for the rest of the info, because he got to get his logs and stuff. He's just that grimy. Like, he just did what... I guess the reason why I was on the internet crying, because it's not how he did it. Is what he said in the process of doing what he was doing. Mm -hmm. In that, after he talked to her, he sends the email saying that he's fired me in a text message. Right. So I called and I'm like, so what are we going to do about my pay? It did. What you mean? What we going to do? Immediately he got an attitude. What you mean? What we going to do? I, I ain't going to do shit. I, I, it's what paid. I, it's, it's, it's exactly what I, exactly what I just said. That's what I said. What we gonna what do, we gonna about, do my about the pay? He was like, you ain't getting shit. And I said, wait, I don't like how you talking to me. Well, this how I talk. I'm a nigga. You gonna fucking? Lie. I said, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Mm. I said, I've been disrespectful. I said, ask one question, answer it, please. I said, have I disrespected you in this three weeks that you have talked to me? Mm. No. Have I disrespected any one of your people since you have talked to me? Mm. No. I said, so why the fuck are you talking to me like this? Because you and your attitude, you gossiping, all because I told the lady that his brother didn't want to do his car and he wanted me to pay him 4%. Mm. You, you know what? See, <clears throat> let me get my thoughts together. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. See, like, that, here's it's, it's here's the whole the, situation is here, crazy. Here's the thing. You you have you you have a whole lot of and I, I experienced this too because I, I used to be I used to be in trucking groups that used to that used to talk this that used to talk this and ask this same fucking question. How come Black people don't support black people. 
And how this come, was a how bad come, guy. How come <laughs> we can't? How come we can't? How come we can't go out there and and support one another? How how come when I see how come when I see the Caucasians and the Asians that I I see they get along with each other, I, they support each other, and, and the they there for each other. You know how come but how come black people how how come black people go to the Arabs and 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 support the Arabs, but they don't want to support their own kind. You see, I don't know why we can't support our own kind. I can tell you why because of bullshit, which you just went through. Like <laughs> because right. of and bullshit, you which you just you're went not through. Gonna elevate. It's you're never, never going to happen. Elevate. It's never going to happen. You're right. I'm never going to elevate with you being like this. You're right. right. <laughs> it's never going to happen. <laughs> you know, you how you going to elevate? You 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 trying to elevate somebody, but you over here talking about, you know, number one, you messing with the money. Black people have exactly. a fucking problem messing with other black people's money. That's why. And that's what happened with the last company before him. That's why I ended up going to him. The last company before him was a company out of Alabama. It was called Global Logistics Delivery Service. Now, I say they name. That motherfucker owe me $7,000, and I'll show you a pay statement. Now he owe me seven grand that I haven't got paid. For. You, you see, I don't, I don't, I don't get it. I, I don't understand it. You know, you, you, you don't have an issue. You don't have an issue with a motherfucking white or foreign guy giving you your damn money. You tell them, like, yo, you owe me some money or something like that. And they'll be like, okay, hold on, we'll, we'll, you know, tit, 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 boom. As but when female, it comes to yes, a, when it comes to a, a female, black person, when it comes to a black as person. As a female. I, oh, okay, as a female. As a female. Uh-huh. Yes, I do. As a female, yes, I do. It's 21 of those companies out of Illinois that are foreigners that owe me as well. Uh, it's like, I don't know what it is with me. It's just like, they like, fuck her. We really, we ready to get whatever with her. And it's like, so, damn, so, I ran all So, this. Patrice, but, but, but how much money you got rolling out here, man? I, I, please. <laughs> man, you need to, you, you, you need right to, you know, listen, you, you need to, you, you need to get yourself a lawyer. You need to get on Google. You need to get on Google. But that's or the point. Every time I find a lawyer, they say that, oh, we can't really, you're going to spend more money paying us to get the money back than you will, you know, just going to small claims court. But well, if they go, go to, if you, if they go to court, small claims court for all these motherfuckers that owe you some money, what would be the problem? You looking at, you said the one dude owe you seven, the other dude owes you about yeah. two. Do you say the for yes. the foreigners owe you about what? Um, the last when I was on operator, the last foreigner he took an additional two thousand and some dollars off my check. Talking about all oh, that was for uh, upcoming in case you leave. I'm like, what? So we looking so at about we we looking crazy. at about ten grand here. Yeah, a, a, so, nice yeah, well, it's, a retainer for a fucking lawyer is like what about about two? So I still get about yeah. I still get about eight. The fuck? But in the state of Indiana, for small claims, you only can do no more than um, I think seven thousand, and that's what, what my last. Yes, for small claims. Is In that Indiana. wait wait wait? Is that just one case at a time? I believe so. One case at a time. Okay, so I never checked and see if you could do multiple cases, but I know on that one case that I originally checked into, they stated you know you can only the max is seven thousand. So he owed me a little over seven grand. Um. Where you where now, this Patrice, is, where where are you finding these companies, man? Um, well, they be advertising listing on Indeed and Craigslist and on Facebook. Man, you need to you man, you 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 need to I don't know. We we, we need to do some I know, in, I need to stop need looking to, on there, right? We need we need to do some <laughs> in-depth investigation with these motherfuckers right here. You need to find go to the safer website. 
need to go to the safer okay. website, uh, look at the comments or whatever, man, because these these people over years. And a jacked. lot of the jobs that I took, you know, they was just to stay afloat, you know, because at the end of the day, who wants to pour all their hard earned money into something that you can't keep up because the next person keeps slapping you out the door for no reason. You know, you're telling them proper information. So, you know, I pay for the load board myself. So a lot of these loads I book myself. You know, that's how I get good money because if it was left up to their dispatch, I would only be bringing two, three thousand dollars home. So I'm like, no, it's got to be a better way. So then when I started, you know, going for my load, they said I'm making seven, eight thousand dollars a week. You know, they like, oh, what the fuck? And that's after, you know, I'm paying them they cut. But it's just like, damn, I'm trying to get it, too. I'm not trying to overstep you, but this is helping you, too. I'm paying you a percentage of all of this. Wow. So we, we got... But that's why I said I'm tired of trucking, to be honest, but <laughs> I came too far to give up. <laughs> yeah, you got... You, 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 you trying to get... You, you trying to get... Trying to get a... Trying to get a good foot in. You know, and and this and and this story right here, you know, for real, for real, is 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 good for the next person that I hope it helps that, people. that that it ends up helping somebody that might be in the same situation as you. You know, this right here, right. this this can really this can really discourage you from 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 driving. Yeah, it can, and that's why I really try not to tell my story to people because I'm like. You might have a better experience than I did. You might. Well, you can only tell. You can only tell I your did. experience. That's it. Yeah, but at the same token, I don't want no one to be scared because of what I went through. Right. I want them to still get out here, make money because guess what? It's a shortage on drivers. They need plenty of drivers. So. I don't want you to be scared as a female because I'm telling you I ran through some shit, you know, or I went through some traumatic things mm -hmm. in trucking, which, hey, I have on a professional tip. I went through some things on a non-professional tip. I went through some things. It's some scary stuff out here, period. But it's scary to walk the earth alone itself sometimes. But. You just gotta put your best foot forward and keep going through it all. That's what's up, man. And that's why I said I was on the internet crying. I was. I wasn't asking for no handout. Mm -hmm. I wasn't asking for no help on nothing. I just was nearly venting, and a lot of people was like, "Yeah, this is the wrong place to do that." There's so many haters, which I saw that. Yeah, I you, saw yeah. That. And now, I saw I'm not, now I'm not. Now I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Like I said, you know, now TikTok is becoming a thing. But I guarantee you, if you would have went on YouTube and did the exact same thing, you probably would have your fair share, your fair share of uh, haters too. So, you know that'll come on and yeah. oh, she's just doing this and this, that, and the third, and she's in the wrong and all like that. I mean, I I could have played devil's advocate with you all throughout this whole conversation, but I'm just saying, right. you know, this. I mean, this, this is is not right if. If I did the work for you, it's only fair for you to pay me. Regard for you to pay me. Regardless exactly. of how you feel about me or how I feel about now, you. Now, mind, mind you, I've never, none of these companies I'm telling you about that I said they didn't pay me. I did nothing wrong. Hear me out. I did nothing wrong. I didn't have no accidents. I didn't mess up no equipment. I didn't mess up no loads. Nothing. This was merely something they had against me or they didn't like my attitude or something. This was noted every time that, yeah, it's your attitude. And I'm like, what? Because I know what I'm doing and I'm not going to let you tell me something I know is right. That's and so then they got it bad when you have your own truck. They want to tell you what to do, and I'm not that one. I pay twelve hundred and sixty-seven dollars a month on my truck. 
And well, um, well since you still <laughs> since you still paying on your truck, man, I, I'm I'm gonna assume you're not gonna stop. You're gonna you 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 just Hell taking no. you just taking this as right, now, right. you you just taking this <laughs> as life lessons right now. But there there is yeah. a there there is a company out there. Hopefully, you know that you're able to lease on to and and have a and have a successful run with them. You know, there's another there's another issue with uh with with you owner operators have, you know, trying to find that right company to 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 vibe with. Have you ever thought about getting your own authority? I have, um, but right now, you know, like I said, I I, I don't want to invest in trying to pay to get my own authority, which you know, insurance is high as he ever, and then. You still have to wait that three to six month waiting period before you even start finding loads. Right. Um, so, you know, that's why I tell people I know way more than it sounds like I know. I just, everybody don't have that high sound professional voice for real. But I know a lot. I took a lot of time trying to go through the internet, go through people and research, research a lot of this stuff that I would need. You know, I know at this point, I'm as far as I can get. I can't get no higher than where I'm at without my authority because everything else requires you to have your own authority. Right. So now I'm dependent on other people, and that's where it's getting ugly for me. So uh, right now you're just taking some time off right now to get your to get your – to get your feet back up under you, have you have you have you uh, found somebody else that you want to give that you want to give the next try to? Um, me and my friends been talking, and he was telling me about a company he's with out of Illinois. I don't know if y'all seen them or heard of them mm -hmm. called Maybach or something like Maybach, that. Maybach, yeah, I'm Illinois. familiar with yeah, I'm familiar with them. Yeah, he was telling me about them and. Their option sounds pretty good, but, you know, as an owner operator with a lot of things that you already have and pay for, paying them anything over 10% is like, what? They want me to pay them 12. They want to take 12% and then whatever for insurance fee, trailer fee, yada, yada, yada. Now, I do reefer, but they do drive in. So I would have to get one of their trailers because, they was like, it'd be hard for us to book loads out of the reefer trailer. Right. So I said, okay, no problem. So I have to pay them their trailer fee and all of that. But again, I'm like, anything over 10% and I'm doing my own IFTA. I got my own field card. I have my own registration. It just, it, it, it just don't sound right for me. So... Well, Patricia, thank you very much for coming on and uh and, and sharing your story, man. Very interesting. <laughs> uh, I know very, it is. very interesting. <laughs> and, you know, very interesting, very informative. Uh, you know, especially your early days of trucking <laughs> was Okay. Was, you know, that that was you know, very enjoyable. So I really do I really do appreciate you coming on and uh and chopping it up with me, chopping it up with the lockout men. Uh you are a citizen now, so anytime you wanna, you know, reach out to me, you know, for whatever reason, you know, you wanna come back on and talk on or on or off, you know, on or off air, you know, just uh reach okay. out to me, you know, via TikTok or or uh or you got, you know, you got my number now, so you know, just let me know, and uh, and we okay. can uh, and we can definitely get back into it, man. Okay, yeah, especially when I get somewhere else. <laughs> yeah, that'll no work. Problem. That'll work. You you can let me no know problem. how you can let me know how 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 that going for you and everything. Yeah, gotcha. All right, so I hope to get help somebody. That's what's up. That's what's up. That's what it's all about, man. That's what it's all about. Well, hey, again, like I said, I appreciate you, driver. You stay safe out there. Um, definitely, uh, you know, definitely try to keep up that truck payment because, you know, if you're not rolling, 
That was going to be kind of hard. To Ain't no money being made. <laughs> Don't worry. I'm getting out of here pretty soon. All right. Much success to you, all right? All right? Yeah. Same to you. Bye-bye. All right. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.